welcome to another episode of Get Tech Smart Global Explosion. This is a limited mini series that I am doing uh, for the LinkedIn Accelerator program, Technology and Innovation, to put a spotlight on women and minorities around the world who are just really making tremendous contributions to tech. I'm calling it the underdog, and I want to put a spotlight and make you guys aware of what's going on when it comes to technology around the world. So today I'm really excited uh, to invite a guest, very special guest, I should add. Uh, so many credentials. I, I hope we can get through all of them today. So welcome today, Cecilia Tam. You are jack of all trades. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to just kind of lay it on us uh, because <laughs> you got a lot going on in tech. Well, hello, Flo. Thank you so much for having me. Um, yes, I do do a lot. I think uh, my, I guess my my focus has always been providing futures as a service, which means that we help companies and organizations to really navigate uh, uncertainties and unknowns that are, uh, you know, coming towards us. And I think COVID definitely put place people to question about a lot of the things that they don't know, and they need to build on resiliency in order to kind of target that. And part of that has to do with uh, tech and technology and other things that are, you know, uh, understanding the society. Yeah. And, and your, your background is impressive. And, you know, one thing I'm noticing is that you, you dive deep into tech, so to speak. And one of the things that your background shows is also Web3. And Web3 is one of those areas that has people's minds just like spinning. So how, how did you get into the uh, Web3 sector? Like almost every single topic that is uh, yet to, to explore for us, we, we dive right in and we built um, because our kind of ethos is very much that until you have built it, until you have understand it, until you understand the boundaries and the limitations of it, um, then you won't really truly have an understanding of it. And I think Web3 and Metaverse is very interesting because it is a space that is changing very fast, but right. yet it, it hasn't been fully built yet. So I have a position where we're either in the space where we are building, actively building it, or we say that, oh, you know, we're gonna ignore it for now. Um, and then other people will build for us. Um, and so for the first, the, the first option for us is a much more um, proactive one and much more, you know, directional and intentional. And uh, we wanna be, you know, position ourselves uh, in that area. Right. And you're a step ahead of the game, right? Because you're you're immensing yourself in, in this sector, which is still, you know, uh, again, having people scratch their head. So I think you're going to be very vital, uh, especially with your the business that you have right now, where you, you can really help companies push forward into this uncharted territory. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I think that more than anything, companies are very thirsty in understanding that space as well. And because they are in a position to uh, to scale up more so than smaller companies, they actually need to be responsible uh, in what they built. I like that word, responsible for what they build. But the other thing you also have a background in is also artificial intelligence. Um, so can we talk a little bit about that as well? Absolutely. And I, and I wanted to kind of state that one of the reasons why there's, you know, I'm, I'm interested in so many things is because as a futurist, uh, we actually need to understand a lot of the lateral and tangential kind of dis, uh, disruptions that is happening because it is when these things merges that, that when we have innovations that happens. And so um, I did a little bit of the, uh, I, I created a school. <laughs> for yes, I saw I was, that. Yes, uh, called All Women, um, and All Women meaning All Inclusive, and we, we, we're we trying to create a pipeline to, um, to foster women in tech leadership. Um, and so in that school, we teach a uh, AI, machine learning, project management, uh, really to kind of uh, create this very uh, lacking role of women in tech. Um, and so uh, and I, I went into the school myself. I did the training and data analysis and AI. And one of the things that I'm, uh, you know, one, one reason I'm super interested in it, it's the same reason why I got into the metaverse is that if you're not actively building these things, then, um, you know, you, you, you don't really understand and or push that those boundaries even more. 
Yeah, you and I, 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 you're, I, you're talking my type of language because I feel like I dive into everything uh, and, and my content tends to be about, you know, the trend in innovation, whether it's, you know, blockchain or, or, or Web3, the metaverse or artificial intelligence, which right now I'm kind of obsessed uh, with AI, especially AI for cybersecurity. Um, and it's impressive that you actually created this school to help other women learn um, because that's one of the things that's like my platform is really promoting women in technology. So how do you think the shape of women in tech is right now? Are, are we making progress or we should be doing better? Um, there's always room to do better. I mean, the, you know, the recent uh, numbers about number of uh, uh, startup, uh, uh, startup companies that are founded by women uh, that have gotten funding. I mean, that seems to be dropping year by year, right? Um, the number of women that are in tech roles are dropping. And these are, you know, these are very discouraging numbers. Um, but at the same time, I feel like, uh, for example, in the metaverse space, I don't think I've ever seen uh, so many women involved and excited because it is something brand new that they can get their hands on. Um, and, and, you know, so I think, um, I think we need to, on one hand, uh, you know, very often than not, we see women in tech as a, fem a women problem. So we need yeah. to fix it. But this is a societal problem. You know, everyone exactly. needs to get involved. So it's not just the 50% of the population. And I think until we have kind of the whole alignment, the whole entire society being involved, we're still always going to be uh, needing more and more work and, you know. Yeah. And, and hence why we're here today, putting a spotlight on the work that you're doing. And, you know, I, I think you have some time to brag a little bit because you recently <laughs> got an award, didn't you? I did. I did. Yes. I, have, I actually yes. have a trophy here. Let's I'm, re I'm really it, happy. Um, there's Women in Tech. Uh, and uh, it's actually uh, sponsored by AWS. And they gave me an award Fantastic. for Inclusivity, Diversity, and Equality Disruptor Award, uh, Global yep. Disruptor Award. So I'm All really right. happy about that. <laughs> and you should be. And I am so happy for you, Global Disruptor. I, I, that's well deserved. And, you know, thank you so much for taking the time to to talk to me. Uh, like you said, it, it's going to take all of us working together uh, to really put a spotlight on on women in tech. Uh, yeah, we don't want those numbers going backwards. Uh, we want them going this direction. So exactly. thank you so much again today, Cecilia. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome.